Got this Lipton in my cup, and I don't give a f- what's up, my dudes. Top five reflex stock tracks, okay? You might be wondering why the hell I'm making a video like this all these years later. Well, interesting point there. So, MX First ATV just posted this on Twitter. What are your favorite tracks from previous MX First ATV titles? Question mark. And they put a little meme that says, I'm taking notes with the girl like writing on a, uh, like a little notebook. You know what I'm saying? So, I responded to that. I said, all reflex stock tracks and the JS7 compound from Alive, okay? And honorable mentions is the Unleashed and the Untamed tracks. MX First ATV responded to that tweet. They replied to that tweet and said, can you give us a top five or ten? Can't say why it's important with the little kind of smirky emoji, Okay. So this leads me to believe that we might be seeing some sort of like a classic DLC pack of some sort that brings over like older MX First ATV games tracks into MX First ATV Legends. Kind of hard to believe this would be anything other than that. So they're asking the Spency Boy what's his top five coming in at number one. Is Fort Dodge round two, my dudes. <laughs> this is a legendary supercross track, not only on Reflex, but it is legendary across all arcade dirt bike games. I mean, Fort Dodge round two, that is how you make a supercross track in an arcade dirt bike game, period. That's just how you do it. The scaling of it, the big ass rhythms, the going up in the stadium, you know, um, the whoops are skill gapped on that track. It's kind of tricky because you jump down out of the uh, what, the area, like when you go up in the stadium, kind of like the LA Coliseum style, you know, you go up in the stadium, but then you come back down with a bunch of speed, you hit a corner and you got that whoop section that's kind of tricky because you got so much speed coming jumping down out of the upper section of the stadium then you got to try to keep the bike in line when you hit those whoops really hard turning in that corner there's just something about fort dodge round two um it it is a legendary supercross track some of the rhythms you can hit are just unbelievable but that is how you make a supercross track in my opinion on on any kind of arcade dirt bike game like that is proper arcade dirt bike game track scaling it really just something about fort dodge round two just uh it really perfectly describes the the uh scaling of reflex and the skill gap of reflex i don't know man there's just something about that fort dodge round two so i had to put it up there pretty high up um but okay so coming in at number two and really number one and number two on my list can be inter- interchangeable uh but i just kind of did it this way just because i really want to see like a fort dodge round two in mx first atv legends that would be legendary okay but Okay, second best of my top five stock tracks on Reflex. I put Sandwick, but I put it in parentheses with that deformation, <laughs> which is super important, okay? Because if you just made like a, a replica Sandwick and you brought it into Legends, but it doesn't have the same terrain deformation that Reflex has... It's not going to be quite the same. It's not going to be as good. But Sandwick might even be might even be above Fort Dodge Round Two. Now that I'm actually looking at it, but kind of kind of weird when you're mixing like Supercross and Motocross tracks in a top five list because you know Sandwick with Reflex's deformation can be the most fun experience that you will ever have in an arcade dirt bike game. Period. Um, still to this day. That is some of the best, that is the best 
not just some of the best. That is the best terrain deformation, track changing, racing sort of experience that you can have in any dirt bike game out there is Sandwick on Reflex. There's just no debate about it. So that to me is kind of like putting what I think is the best Supercross track on Reflex, Fort Dodge Round 2, and then the, what I think is the most fun like motocross experience. But with that D formation, you know, which is Sandwick, I kind of put those one and two just because I feel like that really was a game changer. I mean, it's one thing to get on all the other tracks on, on Reflex with the terrain deformation. It's still a bunch of fun on those tracks, but there's something about when you first got on Sandwick and you ran like a maximum lap race, you know, like a, like a 20, 30 lap race on Sandwick. And the way that track deformed, the way that track changed over time, it was just a game changer for motocross games from that point forward. And, and the irony of that is, ever since that, 2008, 2009, you know, Reflex, they haven't been able to make anything that has even come close to that same terrain deformation experience that you had on Sandwick on Reflex all the way back. Okay? But, uh, but like I say, you could easily put Sandwick with with Reflex's deformation at number one, you could put it above Fort Dodge round two and I wouldn't have anything to say about it, you know? Um, so it's kind of interchangeable, you know? Uh, but, but, uh, it's this, this list is not just a top five stock motocross tracks or a top five stock supercross tracks, top five stock reflex tracks across the board. But nonetheless, let's move on to number three. I put Pine Top at number three. I know a lot of people talk about Pine Top on Reflex. Uh, that that has to be one of the most favorite, you know. Um, I would say Fort Dodge Round 2 and Pine Top are some of the most favorite, you know, Reflex stock tracks out there. So they had to be on the list. And, uh, and it's like Sandwick specifically when you're running more than like 5 or 10 laps with the D formation is also right up there in that same mix with Pine Top and Fort Dodge Round 2, you know, so that's kind of my top three, and it can really be interchangeable, like you could put Pine Top at number one, you could put Sandwick at number three, you could put Fort Dodge Round 2 at number two or three, you know, really my top three is totally interchangeable, but um, that is my top three right there. Fort Dodge Round 2, Sandwick with that D formation on Reflex, and then Pine Top. Uh, just, that's kind of hard to debate that one, honestly. I feel like those are some of the most popular tracks. Um, even though I love all of the Reflex stock tracks, I think they are the best tracks in any arcade dirt bike game. Um, this is just like narrowing down the best tracks, you know, it's not like saying all the other Reflex stock tracks are bad because they're not. I consider Reflex having, as a whole, I feel like Reflex has the best stock tracks of any arcade dirt bike game out there, and it ain't even close. It ain't even close, bro. But definitely let me know down in the comments what your guys' top five list is. Um, you know, you can do it from best to worst or worst to best or whatever you want to do. But um, just kind of let me know how you're doing it. You know what I mean? But uh, like when I replied to MX vs. ATV, I put uh, like the best tracks at the top and then the worst tracks at the bottom. Um you know what I'm saying? So, but anyways, Pine Top, super high speed track, big old, it's got probably the biggest jumps um, of any of the Reflex stock tracks. So that's another reason that kind of puts Pine Top up there above on top of a lot of the other stock tracks, super high speed track. The jumps down the hills are absolutely legendary. You got that one section where you can literally get the bike 
to a whole nother level of momentum and speed than you can on any other uh, national track on reflex. You know, when you jump down that big hill, you clip the trees, you know what I mean? You whip the bike, jumping down that big hill, carrying the maximum speed on the bike, and you go, you hit like another little jump, and then another little jump's kind of like a, almost like you're going down a roller coaster or something like that. That's what makes Pine Top so legendary, uh, just the high speed nature of it and the massive jumps. Uh, but it doesn't deform like Sandwick does. That's the big difference. Like Pine Top versus Sandwick, like if you're not talking really about deformation or you're only running, you know, three or four laps on it, then I would probably put Pine Top above Sandwick. But if you are running more than like four or five laps, I would put Sandwick above Pine Top. You know, if the deformation is really starting to come into play, that's when I would start to creep up Sandwick above Pine Top. But if not, then I would put Pine Top above Sandwick. That's what I mean by how they're so interchangeable. And, uh, you know, obviously you're comparing motocross tracks also to Fort Dodge Round 2, which is a supercross track. So kind of going back and forth there. But um, but anyways, my number four on the list is Razorback. You know, we had to include Razorback. Uh, that was just a must, in my opinion. Um, had to have Razorback on there. Uh, Razorback's legendary. It's got the big jump. Uh, you can jump a massive it's like let me think about where it is it's like out of the second or third corner after the start you can jump this massive like I, don't, I think it's almost like a triple jump but it is massive you jump in the little area where it's got like a little creek you jump over the little creek area the little water spot but you can actually triple all the way down it is a massive jump and it's got that really fun high speed section where you can, uh, you're hitting like this absolutely massive berm in one of the corners, wide open, where you can just get the bike where it just slingshots like a rocket ship. You, you boys that know Reflex know exactly the sections that I'm talking about. Uh, but Razorback has that legendary section where you can just, I mean, wide open through a massive berm that you are not going to fly over no matter how fast you hit it. You know, that's, I feel like, a lot of the tracks on this list right here, like they are the most extreme of a certain element, you know, like Fort Dodge round two probably has the most extreme, like supercross scaling and jump rhythms of all the different supercross tracks. Sandwick has the most extreme deformation of any of the motocross tracks. Pine Top has the most extreme, like jump down a hill, high speed kind of uh, sections than any of the other tracks. Razorback has the most extreme berm size in that one corner when you can hit it wide open. And it also has the different wet water spots. And even Razorback has a couple of spots where you can hit some big old like quad five, six jump kind of rhythms through some of the different areas. But um, and then coming at number five, I put Kingston round two. Uh, this is the one that's got the metal ramps. Pretty sure that's the very last Supercross track in the Supercross list on uh, Reflex. But it's also legendary. Got some massive rhythms. Both of, well, I say both. I think it's just the second metal ramp. You can actually triple it if you hit it properly. And uh, it is massive. It is gargantuan. It's big daddy, fatty, big boy, big hossin. You know, Kingston round two and Fort Dodge round two have some of the biggest, most Mac daddy scaling rhythm section jumps. Um, so that's my top five list. From best to worst is Fort Dodge round two at number one, Sandwick with that deformation at number two, Pine Top at number three, Razorback at number four, and then Kingston round two at number five. So we got two different supercross tracks, three of the different motocross tracks. So anyways, that's my top five list of stock tracks on Reflex. I hope that I represented, uh, you know, the the community as a whole here by making this list and responding to MX First ATV. Of course, this is, you know, 
just if if we could just get a top five you know obviously top 10 we would include a lot of those other tracks that i'm sure a lot of you guys will put down in the comments okay but as a whole i feel like that really is the top five on reflex when it comes to stock tracks i mean i just really do believe that um so to me that's like you you could have almost like a reflex retro dlc for mx first atv legends that included those five tracks right there that i have in this list and that would be the best possible combination of tracks if you could only put five of them in there you see what i'm saying that in my opinion those are just the most memorable tracks they're the most like i say every one of these tracks on this list has its own one of a kind kind of thing that's not on any other track in the game um and so yeah man that's my top five list for uh best tracks on stock tracks on reflex so appreciate you guys watching all the videos i'll see you boys on that next one later dudes